Behind me is the brand new Dacia Spring Facelift 2024 model and in this video I will try to present you interior exterior we are here at Geneve International Motor Show and I try my best to give you as many details as possible it's super crowded today so I try my best it's quite complicated but you know as always I do my best to present you the new cars and not only and to give you as many details as possible here Dacia come with two version this is the expression version and there is the extreme version I will try to review both of them in this video we will try with the expression if I'm not wrong and it has also a very very nice color so let's start with some technical data basically i think first of all i want to give you some technical data and then we will start to review the car interior exterior let me show you the price and also some technical data about the car and then we will go around it this beautiful color as i said before it calls beige safari beige and it looks really really nice expression version as i tell you before it comes in two version 45 horsepower and 65 horsepower and if i'm not wrong the other one is 65 uh, but we will talk in other video about that then we have like let me give you the seven inch display digital screen i will put it basically in english yeah i think it's better for all of us to understand a little bit better so it comes with a seven inch digital cockpit the new cockpit i will show you in a second when we go inside there also it comes with the new u-clip that it's also used on dacia duster if you didn't see the video check it out will come next days also it comes with charging cables the price of the car is not yet available of course depending also in which country you are might be different but it comes also with a new multimedia system 10 inch screen that we will talk about later when it comes to colors you have a few colors to choose from around six colors and all of them to be honest look really nice on the car it's hard to choose one uh, definitely this new spring look much better than the previous version when we go to wheels you have a few choice here when it comes to wheels from 14 and 16 inch and yeah basically all of them look pretty pretty nice you can see right now they are just plastic covers uh, we will talk about that also in a second let me go forward wheels the dimension in terms of dimension it's basically uh, kind of the same size as the previous version it's built on the same platform the difference it's huge it's a facelift but basically it looks like a brand new car it's just impressive how many things they change usually facelifts are very small changes here and there but dacia with this new spring change a lot of stuff and from my point of view i think there are incredible how many things they manage to change and uh, the car look definitely much better we will talk a little bit about the exterior design other than that i think those are the most important information about the car now let's go around the car a little bit and let's talk a little bit about the exterior design from as i said before it's basically a facelift but it looks like a brand new car from my point of view and the changes the look of the car it's definitely much nicer than the previous version even though most of the changes and most of the elements and the material quality is not a big step forward i mean it's it's a big step forward such a huge step forward they still try to keep it at a low price and in order to keep it at a low price some materials and some elements are for a low price car but definitely definitely they manage to bring a lot of great features a lot of great elements that make the car much more beautiful much more stylish and modern and i love the fact that they finally bring this new logo and new look on the front grille that make the car stand out a lot on the street and to be honest i can definitely say that the exterior design of this new dacia spring look much much better than the previous one overall from my point of view i think it's a it's a quite beautiful car now let's start with the front design they still keep some elements so because it's built on the same platform they hold and they keep a lot of elements from the previous version for example the wiper is the same wiper i basically with only one wiper here then when you go on the hood the lines are beautiful also this color it's gorgeous i mean i love this color it looks really nice on the car then in the front you have the daytime running light in the signature with some glossy piano black the new grill with the new logo in the middle here is also the charging port i will show you a little bit later down here 
And basically, I want to show you that. Let me turn on really quick the lights. And I want to show you that the lights down here, basically, this is something that I wish to be different because the low beam and the high beam are normal halogen yellow light. And I don't know, if you look at the car, it looks so, so beautiful. And it is a little bit something that I wish to be different but it's okay, I guess it doesn't matter to keep the host low, they just install this normal, but I wish, I wish to be like it is on the other Dacia models, the LED light, not metrics, but LED light for the, at least for the low beam, even not for the high beam. Then here you have some air intakes in this area that allow to cool down the battery, and also you have air intakes on the down part right here. What I notice that they take out the radars from the front, and now they use these cameras up here, the camera for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that safety features that the car, emergency brake, all that safety features that the car come with. And this is really interesting. They do the same thing with a new facelift Sandero, with a new uh, Joker facelift. They also, uh, if I'm not wrong, the Dacia Duster have the same, same area. Other than that, I like very much the front part. It's a plastic, a matte plastic, uh, but it looks really good. I mean, this plastic, uh, that they use it looks really interesting and i like the fact that it's quite a flat plane front here it looks really cool also the bumper really interesting so the front end look really really interesting from my point of view i like very much the fact that they add this plastic protection around the wheels this is very important to protect the paint of the car if you scratch it if you hit it in the city it's most of the time will happen to scratch it in something and those are really useful because you don't have to repaint the car you just change those also they have an element interesting element in this area also i like the fact that this area is protected here before the wheels because usually here in this area will occur a lot of rust in time so with this plastic here you are protected and this is really really good 14 inch wheels as i tell you before and those are some plastic caps because behind is the real, real wheel. And then you have in the front ventilated brake discs on the front, that's something to keep in mind. Also, those caps are helping the aerodynamic of the car. So they let the air to flow around the car to improve the aerodynamic. But if we go in the back, here we have drum brakes. I don't know if you can see it, it's impossible to see it, but inside there are drum brakes. So they kind of keep it as on the previous version. Now, if we go up, most of the upper part uh, it looks relatively the same as the previous version we still have this antenna so it's quite a long antenna it doesn't have that shark small tail it's just a long big antenna there then the roof spoiler relatively simple but i like the lines that they added there also this is the window in the back and here we have the brake light the brake light is not led it's a normal halogen light that's something to keep in mind and then you have the wiper in the back also it's a defrosted window in the back on the side no tinted windows at least not on this version and around the windows you have some rubber on the down part some matte plastic here matte plastic here uh, between those and the handles basically stay the same quite nice handles in terms of sound it's it's basically quite the same i should say but i like i feel like this is a little bit different has better quality i feel like it's better than previous version it opened a little bit faster so yeah quite nice you can also unlock it with a physical key from here it has some carbon fiber effect uh, sticker down here on the down part you don't have any protection in this area like plastic or something it's just the paint of the car then also the difference between this expression and the extreme is that in this area here on the other version you have writing the spring here so that's quite a difference we will talk about that in another video as well back of the car that also changed completely and it looks definitely much better you have Dacia writing on the back I love the way they write it they kind of come with every single model that they bring they come with a different design and you can see it's not more a three-dimensional shape it's kind of the letters are writing inside the car inside the body of the car and you have this piano black with some matte lines that looks wonderful in real i tell you it looks really good i uh, really interesting then if you go lower spring electric on the same sticker as the other version and then from here you open the trunk you press this button and then you unlock it i will show you later led lights on the number plate we have the reverse camera down here super cool and the fog lamp are down here and it's not led it's just a normal bulb light and other than that the same plastic on the back some 
gray plastic, pretty straight like in the front, but pretty simple and I, I really, really like it. Also four sensors, parking sensors on the rear, very useful on the front, the car doesn't come with sensors, you know, as the uh, previous version. This is the way it looks with the lights off. This is the tail lights, guys. And when you press the brake, this area will illuminate a little bit stronger. And not only that, but the other one from the upper side, the turning signals are normal halogen light. It's not LED. And also the reverse light down here, it's normal halogen light. But in general, it looks uh, quite cool. And if I go a little bit backward, you can see a little bit better the design and you can see a little bit better the way it looks from the back. So what do you think about the design? Write me in the comment. I'm really curious uh, about what you think, all guys. It's big mirror, no blind spot technology on the mirror, but quite big. Visibility is relatively good. It's a matte mirror. It's a plastic matte, the same as on the bumper, the same as here on this area. Turning signals on the mirror, LED light. This is super, super cool. And in the front, you can see the LED lights are right here, positioned. Quite interesting, right? And let me go a little bit forward. So you can see a little bit better from this area. Interesting. Man, it looks, it looks nice. Dacia grow a lot in the last year, to be honest. Here's the charging port. Let me show you and we can talk a little bit about it. Oh, sorry. From here, you open the charging port. From here, you open the hood. I will open both. I don't want to bother the guys from there. But here's the charging port. And here's the cool thing. You can charge it in AC, I guess, this one is not uh, i guess this one is not ready or what happened because we have only ac usually you have ac and dc i'm not sure why this one have only the ac ac seven kilowatt hour but in dc you can charge it up to um, 30 kilowatt hour probably this one doesn't have that option and that's why it's like that we will check out on the other car in other videos so check out the other video but this one probably doesn't have that option but basically you can charge it up to probably seven or 11 kilowatt hour. I have to check that. Anyway, I'm really, I didn't check this standard model without the option, what is the charging power, but usually should be around there. Anyway, for this kind of battery, most of the people will charge the car in the nighttime and until morning, you will have the battery full because it's a 27 kilowatt hour battery. It's the same battery as on the previous version, up to 200 kilometer in the city. They claim that you can go even up to 300 kilometers, depending on the driving, depending on the weather. You know how it works with electric cars. It's complicated to say that. Now in the front, I opened the hood a little bit earlier. You have to do it from the middle here. It's a manual lift gate and it opens like that. So you have to basically hold it. Usually here, the car come with optional, come optional with the option to add some storage place here. I will show you also another car, the other car have that, but this is the way it looks without that optional storage space. Basically, it looks kind of the same as the previous version with the electric motor down there, inverter and all that electronic parts, uh, 12 volt battery and the fuse box on the right side. So basically, this is it. Open the trunk, press this button. Oh, it's so light, I like that. And I noticed that they make this uh, trunk super light, the weight ratio to balance the trunk door, it's really good. And I noticed that also on Dacia, on the new Dacia Duster. So it's very easy to open it. It's not, yeah, basically it's quite easy also the door. I like it. Up here, save some cost, a little bit of plastic, some no handle, nothing. You have to close it in a normal way. I prefer to have it like that and pay less money than have it with handle and pay more money. The entrance, this is the entrance, it's not perfectly square, but I guess for the small car, city car is more than perfect to fit you in your stuff without any problem. So you can see in this area, they kind of squeeze the trunk a little bit. So you have to check out, I have to check it out and measure this area here from here to here, because I think it's less space than in the previous version. I'm, I'm really curious to check this out, but because of the design, they have to make some changes. Otherwise, it's quite fine. The entrance is relatively good. You have also this protection here for the trunk. Probably I'll take it out to show you how it looks. Here you have some rubber at the entrance, and then you have the paint of the car, and here you have like 20 centimeter deepness. And in general, the trunk space is relatively the same as on the previous, as, as in shape, it's kind of the same, same size uh, as the previous version. Now, if we look under this, we have a huge, huge space here where you can put and add different items without any problem. So again, super useful 
from my point of view. Now, I want to take out these protections and fold it down to show you how much space you have here. Oh, I just take out that protection. You can take a look a little bit better how it looks in the trunk and how much space you have right here. So this is the space, guys. Pretty big, right? Now, if you want to fold down the seats in the back, if you want to carry long items, the thing is that you have only one option, completely flat. You don't have seats split in two or three. You just basically fold it all the way flat. So this is the space. It's fine. It's not completely flat, but from my point of view, it's more than perfect to carry big items, long items, no problem here. So from my point of view, it's relatively good. What do you think about it? Now, if I go on the side, open the door here to show you the entrance in the door, relatively big also from the side. This is it. And also you can see the entrance from the trunk a little bit better. So this is the space here relatively. Yeah, the quality, yeah, they kind of save some quality here behind the seats in terms of uh, elements, but it's fine. And also here you can kind of have a step probably up to 10 centimeters. But in general, from my point of view, it's, it's quite fine. And even here you have soft material, so really cool. Anyway, put it back. It's super, super easy to put it back. But the thing is that you have to hold the seat belt first, just like that. And then I can definitely put this back in the trunk. And I need just one second to do that. It's, it's so light. This one is so light. So they save also the weight in the car. So that's super important because when you're driving an electric car, it's important to be as light as possible. And by the way, talking about the lights, the weight of the car, did you know that this is kind of the, the only electric car that have under one ton? So it's very light, under 1000 kilograms. It's incredible, incredible light. It's so hard to do this with one hand, but I managed to do it. Close it here. Now, before I go in the front, I want to adjust the seats in my driving position so I can show you a realistic test. By the way, here are the buttons for the windows, uh, but we will get there in a second. First of all, let me adjust the seat in my driving position. Manual adjustable seat, of course, because the price is super good and they still keep it at a low price. They kind of design it the same. So in the back on the doors, the same plastic everywhere. Uh, we have manual adjustable windows. So basically you have to rotate this in order to leave the window down. And this is maximum how much you can leave it down. That's something to keep in mind. So this is the old school. For those of you that know that in the old cars was like that. And also here you can lock the car by pressing this. Otherwise, nice design handle here, pretty simple. Also the handle feel relatively good quality, a matte uh, gray. Entrance in the car, super big. I should say for this size of the car, it's a super big entrance. And this is the way it looks. Those are the seats. The seats look quite nice. This combination of textile material with white in this area and also textile material everywhere. They look really cool. And this material look like a recycled material, look like the same that they use on the bumpers on the new Dacia Duster. Quite nice. Don't have in the middle any armrest or stuff like that. I like the fact that they design it kind of flat in the middle that allow you to have free person without any problem behind the front seats, stuff material, storage space here behind. Going inside, yeah, close the door. I'm 173 centimeters, by the way, guys, 173 centimeters. And for me, it's still fine. I have like two and a half fingers over my head. Visibility outside, it's okay. I should say it's good. Not in the upper side here, where is my head, but in the lower side, it's really good not complaining for the city it's quite fine now when it comes to legs room because i you see i adjust the seat in my driving position this is the leg room like four four fingers stretch my legs under the front seat no problem so for me it's still good but if you are a very tall person or a tall person i don't know you have to check it in terms of quality material on the roof basically kind of the same as the on the previous version it's fine i should say from one to ten i would give it a six something like that and if you go in the middle i like the fact that you basically don't have any transmission tunnel there and you can go very easily there and again this is the space behind myself like maybe three fingers here here it's less because this one is much more in the back but the good part is that you can stay with your legs together head room 
three fingers, three and a half fingers, maybe four. Stretch my hand, not so much, not so much. Three people in the back here, maybe short trips, but I don't know if you have a seat belt. You don't have any seat belt in the middle, so this is designed only for two person. But yeah, two person will stay here without any problem. We will go in the front because there are the big changes that I love. Down here, why, why, why they keep still keep this manual handbrake on an electric car? It's okay, save the cost, prefer to pay less and have manual handbrake than pay more for uh, nothing basically. But yeah, for comfort basically. Now, when it comes to dashboard, when it comes to multimedia, digital cockpit, man it's everything is changed it's a basically a new car it looks fabulous from my point of view for this price range what they offer here and the multimedia you will see in a second it's insanely good it's it's fantastically good and i definitely love every single piece of the changes that they do there until the manual handbrake anyway let's go in the front here we have one big window from one piece guess from what is this put the pause, pause the video and tell me what do you think is this for now, you know, check this out. The mirror adjustment are right here, manually. How cool is that? Really interesting. Now, when it comes to door in the front, the same story, plastic everywhere, but nice design, nice trim here, handle, handle. And you have here the uh, space, the storage space. Down here, it's cool. And I like the fact that it's white inside. It looks really nice, but probably with time, it get dirty a little bit. Now, when it comes to entrance in the car, it's quite big, the same as in the in the back entrance super super big and from this angle you can see quite quite clear the way it looks uh, and also the seats combination of white with this dark color it looks really nice even though there are textile material everywhere even the white part it's textile with these red stitches you have Dacia logo the new Dacia logo here and then you have this kind of a recycled material uh, effect and then side support side support if I'm not wrong also those seats are made from recycled materials and keep in mind even the steering wheel is not made in leather or something like that it's a rubber hard rubber that means save the planet and save the animals and all that stuff and then manual adjustable seats here in the front the pedals are normal nothing special there and also this is the position of the lights from where you can basically adjust a little bit higher plastic here in this area those are the vents the air vents also made in plastic basically it's quite simple i can say it's super super quality or super smooth but they are they are fine on the upper side plastic everywhere i like the way they design this white plastic here and how they design the digital uh, screen let me go inside because it's also basically quite noisy outside and visibility let me show you let me adjust the seat first what i like about the seats is the fact that you can adjust it super fast i mean you just pull it and leave it the same as on japanese cars Check this out, it's super, super easy to adjust it. Visibility wise outside, it's great because you have only one window in this area. So you have great visibility in the mirrors and also great visibility outside. On the windows, great visibility. Check this out also in the back there. Maybe a little bit of blind spot in the corners there, but overall it's quite fine. You can see one more time the seats in the back. Here you don't have any armrest. That's something that I wish to have. I'm not sure if on the other version they have. I will check out there in the other video, check it out. Handle here, manual handbrake, of course. Here's some storage space, a lot of storage space. Check this out, how cool is this center console with some white plastic and then shift by wire transmission. The same as on the new Duster, the same size, it's super cool. You put it in drive, you put it in reverse, you put it in B mode. So the cool part is that you have basically a new regenerative mode so you have the b mode before it was not here in the car now you have the b mode so you can make it a little bit stronger the regenerative brake when you release the acceleration and this is super useful on an electric car quite nice i like that then you have huge space down here for different items you have the u uh, holder i should say it's something new for dacia it comes on spring it comes on duster so you can buy accessories i will show you a little bit later at the end of this video the accessory that you can buy for it and you can add it here and a little bit higher two usb port and this area looks super fancy super modern two usb port you have the climatic system that's manually right now so from here you can adjust the position you can adjust the position of the air you can adjust how strong the air to be you can adjust the temperature from here and you can see every time you adjust it it will appear also on the screen up here and from here the size 
it's it's super nice and basically it's so easy to use and i love i love the way they they design it and you can close it from here turn it off super simple love that the buttons for the windows because in the front we have electric windows here are the buttons so you can leave it down from here so those are the buttons for the windows you have the echo button because you have an echo mode you can see you can activate it from here you press it it will activate it on the digital screen and then here you have the hazard light lock the car and here you have all that safety features so my personalize and you can choose from here to activate deactivate the safety features features and I'll show you in a second in the in the screen where they are now here you have still that physical key to turn it in order to start the car then you have also these vents that looks fabulous the same vents as they use it on the new duster they are super super cool not only the design but really ingenious and unique how you change this little part in the middle there and you have some red you have a storage space here so useful man like utility vans utility uh, cars you have a lot of space here to put different items the only thing that i wish to do is to put some rubber down there because it's plastic you have to do it yourself and you have a new clip also in this area where you can add a light or whatever you can add it there i will show you later the accessories that you can add it there and here is the glow box basically it's huge man man the glow box is big i didn't expect to be that big for a small car like that and then let's go to the steering wheel you can basically adjust it now up and down but not forward backward just up and down and you close it from here super simple i love the new steering wheel it looks lovely it's the same size same shape as on dacia duster the new dacia duster is just the quality uh, it's different because there we have kind of a leatherette vegan leather material and here we have this rubber hard uh, material but the same shape the same design the grip is the same i like the fact that it's flat on the upper side flat down here those are the stalks to change different uh, lights position and the wipers here and here behind the steering wheel you have the controllers for the multimedia system here you have the buttons to control the cruise control adaptive cruise control uh, and all that safety features very simple from here you set it and here on the right side you have also the controllers for the cockpit digital cockpit incredible right it's the same digital cockpit that you have it on the new duster and you have it also on the new facelift jogger and sandero but about that we will talk in other video it's not so customizable as it is on other cars for example volkswagen or other uh, brands but it's enough customizable to change different items here and if we go a little bit higher let me show you what you can change basically driving assist uh, unavailable it gives you the errors there here it shows you the screen here it shows you the echo monitoring the distance that the car drive the consumption the ev information here the volt amper rpm yeah and then the service where you have to do the service and and that's it basically it's super simple and you have another view just like that where it shows you this line in the middle here that shows you when the car uses the power when you drive echo and when the car is charging and down here you see the how much battery you have and how much range you have so 93 percent right now in this moment and overall it's quite the same thing so basically this is it really interesting on the upper side kind of the same mirror as the previous version pretty good i should say the visibility in the back there is not that bad simple to adjust also you can turn it down for not uh, blind you in the nighttime microphone up here and you don't have any mirror on the solar protection up here normal bulb light yellow light and here you have an sos button and basically when we talk about comfort in the front right here i can say for me 173 centimeters it's pretty comfortable i can say it's super comfortable and something that i wish to be different uh, on the previous version i was a little bit disappointed the fact that in this area you don't have a leg rest you know what is that leg rest because here is no leg rest you have to have your foot like this but if you want to straight your foot you can leave it there but there is, is you will get dirty all that place there you have to wash it and this is something that i wish to have a leg rest but other than that it's just simple i mean it doesn't matter anyway you don't drive too many kilometers in order to rest your your leg uh, but in general it's okay for me it's good visibility it's good i sit good here and finally i can say it feels like i'm inside a premium car here i really like the position of driving so not bad man I, I mean you have to try it now let's go to the most important part the new multimedia screen 
10 inch screen uh, you have three buttons up here for the volume up and down you can close it even from here if you press it once and what I notice is that the screen is basically the same multimedia, the same software as you have it on the new Dacia Duster and it is pretty responsive. You can see I go through every single menu and it goes really fast. So no lag or something like that. It's go through them super fast. You go to, let's, let's start with the beginning. Here's the home screen where you have the navigation, you have information about the vehicle. You can also customize all those. I will show you later. I will make a separate video with this multimedia system. If you want to see it, check it out. I go in detail about it. But the second shortcut is the media where you have all the media and radio and all that stuff. Then you have the telephone here where you can connect your phone. And here you have the applications. And here you have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I will show you in a different video how can you connect them wireless. And this is cool. And also here you have some application from the car. And this is super interesting because Dacia also come, you know, it works with Renault in the same group and they come with this incredible, incredible feature that you can add extra application to the car right now i'm sure it doesn't work too well and it's not connected to the internet but you can browse for the apps and in the future you can install apps like waze like uh, spotify and all that stuff you can install it on the car it's really really interesting and i'm looking forward for that plus if you go all the way down here to the vehicle you will find all the settings of the car the most important settings of the car if you go to electric you can see a nice graphic with what happened with the energy, with the motor and the battery. And you can see how much battery you have while you're driving. It shows you a nice graphic uh, with the what happened with the energy. Here you can schedule the climatic system, the battery information here. You can choose to charge it maximum. You can choose to charge it only 80%. You can cho choose to charge it only 90%, 95 or whatever you can choose from here. And they also give you some tips. Where is journey? Where is daily? Where is journey? So that's cool. And this is the minimum. So this is also cool because the car come with vehicle to load. By the way, I forget to tell you about that. Vehicle to load mean that you can send energy to other electronics. You know, like for example, if you use a cow coffee machine or whatever electronics you want to use, you can choose from here maximum energy that you want to use. For example, if you have less than, uh, yeah, let's say, less than 50 percent the car will not you not work to send the energy but if you have more so from here you can also save and choose to have that but we will talk about that because i almost forget to tell you that the car come with a vehicle to load is not that powerful so it didn't send more than i think 2.2 kilowatt hour or something like that but it's more than enough to run some a lot of electronics basically now if you go forward i think you can also send electricity to other cars with vehicle to load and charge other cars this is really cool i mean this is a cool feature even though you have the same battery they kind of change some elements there to make it work like that and this is a big big feature that even tesla don't have it if you go to settings here on the settings you have ped pedestrian walk uh, and all that settings of the car now let's go back to my driving because here you have a lot of information about the consumption and energy eco score and all that stuff it's super interesting interesting then you go to driver assistance systems here you have all the safety features of the car for example you can choose to have all the safety features you can also activate them from here from this button i showed you a little bit earlier uh, and you have all of them and you can personalize for example it comes with overspeed audible warning limitation change sound lane departure prevention uh, dash line intervention, you have a departure anticipation, vibration, driving monitoring alert, all that safety features, you find them here. Uh, and from here you can customize them. You, the car comes with traction control, you can activate and deactivate from here. And active brakes, this is the emergency brake, you can see it there, super cool. All of them are here, uh, the same as on Duster. The Duster have the same and I think the new cars, all new cars that will come next two years will use this system, super nice system, finally. And this is the, the sound for the parking sensors and then vehicle information you have the access doors locking welcome wiping wipers cockpit here basically you can choose other color for the cockpit from here you can choose to have it in other color just like that for basically it's not the cockpit it's also this screen you change the color of the screen it's turned to green right now you can see how cool and then you have the tire pressure here and edit widgets 
that's the cool part because you can edit those widgets on the home screen and you can choose to have something else on the home screen and this is really nice from my point of view I think I go through ah we have settings here on the settings is basically the same as you see on other Renault cars so you have the sound settings from here you can change all that sound settings Bluetooth location apps uh, security system and updates because from now on it comes with over-the-air updates the car is able to update uh, over the air the same as Tesla and other new cars navigation basically it's here and I want to show you that why it's not working navigation ah uh, why not I don't think it has the navigation probably the other one it has the navigation and I want to show you that but stay close because the navigation it's insanely good and I definitely want to show you the navigation system uh, probably didn't have this option but you can get it as an option but why is not working now why is why ask me to connect to the phone really interesting also you can extend it from up here basically this car doesn't have the option of the navigation you can add it optional but it doesn't have it so you have to connect your phone but for the phone connectivity how it works with uh, wireless uh, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay I will do a separate video separate video with multimedia system with the navigation so stay close because I will do that and I will show you how the navigation look like because it's super super good that was the video basically not uh, let me show you the other accessory for the u-clip and then we will end up this video basically the accessory for the u-clip that you can use inside the car are right here guys you have a bag you have some holders you have also these as you say lighter with cup holder and some hooks there and you have also this phone uh, holder and also some of them are used for the new Dacia Duster that is there and some of them are used for the new spring so yes you will find it online anyway now another thing important thing that I want to show you about the car it is the battery this is the way the battery of the new Dacia spring look like look how small it is 27 kilowatt hour battery basically it's 26 point something let me see here 26.8 kilowatt hour battery and this is how small it is it's incredible small and it fit in that car it's great and look the way it looks this is the electric motor in the front basically this is the electric motor in the front used on the new Dacia Spring and this is the 65 horsepower the most powerful version of it and here is the electric motor and parts here are some inverter and electronic parts of the electric motor and then basically here is the way it looks and here it gives you some information about it so you can see here 65 horsepower the motor let me go to home and here you can see basically information about the battery it will give you some infos and it will tell you that the battery low consumption weight uh, up to 305 kilometer in the city and eight year warranty 120 kilometers super cool right and if we go to let's see the engine now the new 65 powertrain it gives you also some information right here about it 65 horsepower and yeah basically that's it right or it's more it give me give us a little bit more information aha uh -huh. bearing reinforcement to support higher engine rpms wow so it's a little bit improved from the previous version so keep in mind the engine have some changes added to it i didn't know that this is super useful more wires for conductor to allow more electric current in the engine so they improve also the electric motor new reducer amplify the engine torque and deliver more torque to the wheel so quite nice really really cool stuff luminous and trunk volume let's go here to the trunk i'm really curious about that because it looks basically the same 308 liters in the trunk yeah and 1004 liters if you fold down the seats completely really really cool and then you have the large and cabin storage volume 32.7 liters is the storage everywhere in the cabin there you see in those areas around there so super cool information and the last one let's see here if we find out so useful information yeah anyway yeah i guess that was it guys this is the way it looks that was the car i hope you get some useful information from here if you still have questions ask me down below i will answer with pleasure also if you like the video if you find it useful don't forget to like share subscribe multimedia video will come soon test drive video will come soon the review with the other extreme version will come soon so stay close click the subscribe button also like share i will really appreciate that thank you very much for watching my videos
stay safe and I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.